Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau on June 10 announced $500 million Canadian dollar worth of military aid for Kyiv and said Canada would take part in a multinational effort to train Ukrainian fighter pilots. Trudeau also told a press conference in Kyiv alongside Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky that Canada was seizing a Russian-owned Antonov cargo aircraft that landed in Canada last year and starting the process of forfeiting the aircraft to Ukraine. Zelensky told reporters counteroffensive and defensive operations were taking place in Ukraine, but that he would not say what stage they were at. The Ukrainian president shrugged and raised his eyebrows dismissively when asked to respond after Russian President Vladimir Putin said on Friday that Kiev forces had certainly begun their much vaunted counteroffensive. Loan to the government of Ukraine for this year with the aim of supporting Ukraine's recovery and reconstruction. Today, I can announce that we will provide $500 million in new funding for military assistance. You're fighting for your country and for values like democracy. In addition, today I'm announcing that Canada will be part of the multinational efforts to train fighter pilots and to maintain and support Ukraine's fighter jet program, leveraging Canadian expertise in these areas. We will also be contributing to the multinational Leopard Tank Maintenance Initiative. We will provide an additional 288 AIM-7 missiles, which will support Ukraine in its efforts to defend Ukrainian skies. And from existing funds, we will provide 10,000 rounds of 105 millimeter ammunition to the Ukraine security forces. Last spring, a Russian-owned Antonov 124 cargo aircraft landed at Pearson Airport in Toronto. As soon as it landed, we immediately grounded it. People in Toronto know this because they've seen it while driving past the airport as we've held it there for the entirety of the past year. So today, because of legislation we passed, we are now seizing this Russian-controlled Russian-owned aircraft, and we're beginning the process to forfeit this asset to Ukraine to make sure it will never again be used by Russia to support them or their war. We've all seen the devastation caused by the collapse of the dam at the Kakova hydroelectric power plant in Kherson region this week. This was a direct consequence of Russia's war, and it is devastating for thousands upon thousands of people. To help with the response today, I'm announcing $10 million in new funding and will be redirecting $37.5 million of Canada's currently allocated humanitarian assistance for Ukraine to respond to this flood. Thank you, my friend, for all that you do. Thank you, Justin. Thank you so much. Canada, among the world in the world, Найактивніше підтримує необхідність безпекової визначеності для України та всієї нашої євроатлантичної спільноти. І сьогодні ми зафіксували у нашій спільній декларації з паном прем'єр-міністром канадську підтримку членства України в НАТО. Володимир, thank you so much for welcoming me and Chris. Цікаво, що Путін сказав про наш контрнаступ. Важливо, що Росія відчуває це завжди, що їм недовго залишилось, на мою думку. Контрнаступальні оборонні дії, відповідні, відбуваються в Україні, на якій стадії я не буду говорити детально. І вважаю, що ми обов'язково все це будемо відчувати. 